Ladies and gentlemen, welcome! Today we are going to be pack punching every single weapon on World at War Darius. That is right, when was the last time that you played World at War Darius? I mean, just look at your screen. Listen, I was not an OG World at War Zombies player. I love World of War Zombies, but this was actually the second version of Darius that I ever played. I know, right? The second? The first one I played, listen, now, if any of y'all remember this, this was crazy. Back in BO1, when Moon released, they brought back the World of War maps on Black Ops 1 with all the fixed stuff, so no broken quick revives, none of that. And it was just incredible. And that's the thing. We got 22 weapons to pack punch here on World of War, so there's gonna be some broke mechanics up in this boy, okay? We got... No quick revive usage up in here. If I die even once, which I have died even once, multiple times trying to record pack punching all 22 of these weapons, uh, that's it. You know, it's over. Your Wonder Waff can also glitch. And if you have Juggernaut with the Wonder Waff, sometimes you can just shoot yourself and instantly die for no reason. I've had times where the explosives on this map kill me. It is ridiculous. But listen, we got 22 weapons. Let's get through the list here. We got the M1911, the .357 Magnum. I don't know if y'all even remember that one, bro. I barely knew. The Thompson, we love that boy. The PPSH, I mean, how could we not love that boy? The Browning, the Double Barrel. Now, some of these are on the wall, right? And I think those are going to be my top priority. I'm really going to mainly hit the box at the very last portion of the game. And after the double barrel, we have the MP40, another wall weapon, the Type 100, which I also believe is a wall weapon, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I believe it's in, like, the teleporter A side. Uh, we have the SDG, the trench gun, which is, oh, it's going to be amazing. And honestly, I should probably make a, an investment into the trench gun earlier than later for the dog rounds. Because, listen, World of War dogs, these guys don't mess around, okay? We need some serious firepower, though. And some of the weapons are better on dogs. And some are better on zombies, so we gotta make sure we get the right ones. Uh, here we go. Last zombie. I also don't want to knife too much because y'all know these World of War zombies be sucking. They don't... <laughs> they don't be doing nothing else, bro. Black hole looking zombies for real, bro. Uh, but other than that, we have... What else? What else am I missing? The Car 98K and the Gewehr, which are both wall weapons that I need to pack much early. And honestly, speaking of the Gewehr, we getting you, bro. Car 98K is like a worse Olympia. I ain't grabbing that. What else we got? Uh, the M1 Garand, the M1A1 Carbine, the PTRS, which is pretty good, to be honest. The bar, I mean, not that great. The FG42 and the MG42, which is definitely the better version. The Flamethrower, the Panzer Shrek, and then lastly, the Wonder Weapons being the Waff and the Ray Gun. So, listen, I think that's doable, but it really depends. And I'd love to see if anybody else can complete the OG Pack Punch Every Weapon Challenge on this map. And tell me what your time is, because listen... I'm curious to see what the fastest time on this can be because a lot of this is due to RNG, right? Like, you can get some really good drop luck here that gives you some really good starting points at the beginning of the game, right? Like, you can do, you can do stuff like that, or you can hope that the box luck is just incredible and on your side and you get every single different weapon that you need at the exact point in the game. Because, listen, you don't really want Quick Revive, and Double Tap, actually, I feel like might be a necessi uh, necessary perk to get in this run. Just because so many of the guns that we're going to be grabbing are absolutely PP. And because of that, we need something to help us, bro. Uh, this last... Hey, there we go. A uh, nice extra set of points. I think we can that stay one more round in off. here. Uh, listen, I got to get rid of all the M1911 ammo here. It is all about point maximization up in an original World of War. The reason, bro, the OG, bro. The little Easter eggs that they added in this back in the day. You don't really see that type of flavor, man. And it reminds me of what I just uploaded on my TikTok, which is like the bo one five intro cutscene. And in like 14 hours, bro, that, that TikTok has almost reached like a million views. And it's literally just some guy pretending to be Nixon, and he's like, sounds like someone's breaking in. And then I say, just a storm, Nick. Sit down. Just like the classic JFK, even though I'm Canadian. <laughs> and, uh, hey, dude, that's how you get the job done on TikTok, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. F, uh, F story time slips from shame, bro. It's all about what type of zombies intro cutscene can you reproduce at the end of the day. Okay, well, I'm out of Gewehr ammo. I honestly might invest in the Thompson. I know I said I have to pack much of the Gewehr and the Car 98K, but listen, they're wall weapons. They're going to be there, and I don't have to be holding. Okay, 
Uh, we got three bullets. This one better die. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need a couple of these homies. Please don't buy. Please don't buy. Well, the war grenades don't mess around, man. That's why I am so absolutely horrified every time I throw one of these. Please just kill all those other guys. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna kill all those. Ooh, an insta kill. He's like, bro, I got you. Okay, honestly, pretty good luck so far. I mean, this is a speed bump. We're probably not doing the best, but hey, seven k around five is pretty impressive. And listen, we're going straight for power. Thompson, you know, we're also grabbing off the rip here. Uh, I'm also gonna open up teleporter B side first. Interesting that that door is 750. Wait, are these doors 750 without the power turned on? Oh, I was about to say. I was like, dude, if, they, if that was a thing, that would be really interesting. Also, listen. It's World of War. It's a two-hit down in this game. This is all BL3, Gobblegum in the corner, getting the Annihilator, the Giant. Nah, 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 nah. This is some OG. So, honestly, I am going to go for jug we're gonna make a strong investment to jug and we're gonna start the pack much process because listen i don't want to get caught especially in this area this is probably the worst area in all of these uh but honestly if you guys i want to i'm curious my favorite version of Greece is the giant i think I, it's the one i've played the most it's the one that feels the most complete like you have the most complete fly trap easter egg and all that even though i love world of war Greece and i love the gunplay in this one I definitely put the most hours in the diet. And so I'm curious, what is your favorite version of Greece? My first version ever was actually the one I feel like most people don't play anymore, which is the BO1 remasters. To be honest, most people don't play those ones anymore. Most people either go back to World of War because it's easier to get to high rounds and it's more glitchy, or, uh, you know, that's that, or you go to BO3, that's kind of it. Or you play in customs. Listen, there are some amazing versions of uh customs on these degrees like the angry giant which is one of the hardest ones to speed run if you have bl3 customs please go check it out there's probably some world of war versions as well another great one also which is personally my favorite version is the reese declassified if we're talking about customs as well uh here we go round six. Oh, i thought it was gonna be a dog round no okay well let's hurry up and get yeah we got 20 miles away. wow i'm running bro but yeah, honestly, I'm not going to be hitting the box yet, like I said. We've really got to be prioritizing the um, the wall weapons here. Because, like I said, all, all the pack punch challenge is is point maximization. I'm also going to be grabbing more ammo here because I thought this was going to be a dog round. But it ain't. Grab more of that ammo. I'm not going to lose that drop, though. Let's see what we get here. I love the original version and way of getting the back punch on a new stack. It's actually very similar to Grog Kobe. I always tell people this. Like, the reason why I love GK is because it's basically another format of Darius. Like, they're very, very similar maps. Like, instead, Garod Kobe took the pack punch and just put it away from the spawn room. And that's all it is, dude. It's crazy. Like, I love that. I also shouldn't camp here. Because this is terrible. Listen, every playthrough that I've failed in trying to get all 22 of these weapons pack punch, I've opened up this door in the spawn because it's easier to get the teleporter A side uh, pack punch side done there. This time, I'm not going to do that. Because listen, every time I come to pack is usually the way... It like, I usually die in here because I've opened that door. So, we're going to not do that. And actually pretend... To do our best. I'm gonna keep this insta kill for the dog rub. I think this is gonna be huge. Oh, we don't have any ammo in the MMG. Oh my goodness. Listen, also, I had a pre recorded run last run where I literally killed all the dogs and it didn't give me a max ammo. That's like the first time I've ever had that. Perfect grab on it. Here we go. Maximize these spawns. Listen, the World of War dogs are usually way scarier, especially around 70. But it's just because I got insta kill here. That they just, they just, <laughs> they be night, 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 <laughs> night, night. What the heck is this boy doing? Uh, but yeah, that was literally the easiest dog out of all time. Okay, let's get all these down. Oh, dude, I forgot when you hold tab, you get a campaign mission objectives. That is how retro world of war is. Oh my gosh. That is so crazy, dude. I barely remember that. Uh, but yeah, uh, in terms of my pack punch process, I think the first gun I've got a pack punch is the one I'm holding right now. The Colt M1911 needs to go immediately. It's basically something I can't get out of the box uh, if I get rid of it. 
So it's got to go. It's got to be the first to go. I have to also run. I can't be focusing on zombies. We got to run all the way around here, bro. Also, I should... Uh, I Honestly, I think I'm also going to get speed call up. Better to get it earlier than later. Seven, six. If I get a new here, I wouldn't even be mad because they are going to be flooding out the spawn gates here. Come on now. Oh my goodness, please. Uh, oh, a max? Okay, if I got a... Ma yeah, a max we're going to chill on. Because I'm just going to... Oh, oh, this could be bad. This could be very bad. This could be very bad. If I have to buy this door, I have to buy this door. But I know there's zombies on the other side. It does that on the other door. They like glitch out and stuff. Oh, no. Oh, this is actually crazy. Oh, and the max ammo disappeared too. What? That is so unfortunate. Okay. I'm so shocked I lived there, dude. I had to focus up for a sec. I'm throwing all these nades. See you later. We're grabbing Speed Cola too. Better to grab earlier than later. What is this guy doing? He be sliding. World of War zombies are really different. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Uh, okay, and also, did I hit this one? Did I get teleporter C? Which one am I missing here? Teleporter C, teleporter B. Also, I want y'all to tell me, like I said, what is your favorite version? I did get this one. What is your favorite version of the giant? I got this one, but not any of the other ones. How am I so bad? I just... I'm truly confused, bro. I'm getting confused by Grease Pack Punch, bro. Don't ask me to ever play a Black Ops 3 map ever again, bro. Oh my goodness, dude. Yeah, honestly, at this point, we're gonna grab some more ammo. And... Wait, I got this one too, right? Is Pack Punch fully open? Oh, I forgot to get this one. Okay, this must be the last one. I about 25 seconds. Let's get it going. We're past 12 minutes in the recording. We've got a single weapon pop. Yeah, okay. This is the last one. If I get a double points here, that will be huge, bro. And there it is. The original Pac Machine. The very first one. Dude. It really feels bigger than in a lot of other maps. It feels more grandiose. Okay. And skill is a great power up to get here. I don't honestly know on World of War if you get more power ups after teleporting. I know on Black Ops 3, you can get, like, a perk bottle and stuff. It's why, dude, the Black Ops 3 version, I just think, is so much better. Yeah, if I can just shoot you, this is gonna be nice, man. This is gonna be what we need. Yeah, just get rid of that 19 level ammo. Nice shoot, nice shoot. Yeah, honestly, I did such a play by not opening up that side door over there. Uh, and also, we have enough to pack a bunch, so you know what? I'm doing it. M1911 is going in to the box. We got a knife on the insta-kill there. Ooh! There we go, the C3000. That is our first weapon done, dude. I absolutely love that. Listen, this is not the most iconic version of the M1911. Even though the pack punch camo looks cool, everybody remembers the Black Ops 1, the greatest zombies map of all time. King Order Toten Mustang and Sally's more, I feel like. Like, that's where everybody feel like got Mustang and Sally's and was able to, like, enjoy it. This C3000 is also, like, it's got a really slow fire rate, to be honest. So, I wonder, actually, if Double Tap would help it out. You know what? I'm gonna get Double Tap and I'm gonna see. I'm actually gonna get double tap because listen, we gotta get through some of the worst automatic guns in this game. It's just not gonna be good. It ain't gonna be good, y'all. So let's make sure we get it. But yeah, I'm also nervous, man, because they did one wrong move and it is all over up in here. And like with this box look like I guess like I said, it we could be here from like round 30 up until round 50. Oh huge double points. Huge double points. I know there's a Bowie knife as well, but listen, I'm gonna be honest, for the first map to introduce the Bowie knife, I feel like the Darice Bowie knife is in one of the worst spots. It costs so much money to just get to it, and then you have to spend 3k, and it only lasts till right, round 9? I mean, come on, bro. Who's making this type of game play? Okay, the Thompson is now done. I have to really make sure that I don't take explosive damage here. Because this game don't got PhD. I gotta make sure that I don't get PhDs months on me if I get me out of here. Oh my gosh, that was round. Okay. Well, you know what? We can probably just instantly get rid of the Thompson here and the M1911 uh, because we're gonna pack a bunch of both these. And you know what? I'm gonna get double tap here. 
So our second weapon is going to be the Thompson upgraded, the gives matic Get in the wall, one button's done out first, and honestly, the next two I'm going to do are the Karna, the AK, and the Gibera here. gives matic yeah, this thing is going to slap, isn't it? Oh, yeah, dude. I love the OG Thompson with his pack camel. Seriously, this is like top three pack of camels. I know a lot of people love Revelations or Verizon Rack and Wad. Or even some of the PS4 maps with their pack camels. Or even Mallard or something in Cold War. But dude, you gotta respect the World of War OG. Like, this one looks like every single gun has like a specific engraving in it. Dude. It looks really good. Another nuke. There we go. 4,800. Oh, I can almost upgrade a whole other gun, bro. Yeah, honestly. Or should I get double tap? You know, I'm going to get double tap. Listen, okay. Let's see it. Let's check the fire rate. So the fire rate on this, very slow. I'm literally holding down the trigger. Does double tap fix this fire rate? Oh, a little bit. It does make it a little bit faster. Not by much, but I guess it does do the trick. I mean, listen. Listen. It doesn't really matter on guns like this. It'll mainly matter on, like, the guns that are really bad. This is a great dog weapon, too. The AoE is crazy. Dude, I hit that dog and it didn't even do any damage. That is so wild. Oh, my gosh. Where's the last one, bro? Get him out of here, bro. Break him out. He ain't got a chance. Hey, there we go. Nice max ammo. 2k points to upgrade the next weapon. Yeah, it's time to get rid of them, 1911. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to the moon. Listen, for all everybody playing moon right now, say goodbye. It's so wild because it looks like the moon is blowing up, boys. It's the Dryzen Drag cutscene. Bro, no way, dude. We're blowing up the moon. That's crazy. Yeah, the skybox is so far out. I love the original World of War skybox, though. Easily better than the BL3 Giant one, especially because that one was so overused in so many custom apps later on. Oh my gosh, yeah, this one is better. No point of buying Quick Revive, even though it is tempting. And it's also a scam on World of War because it's still 1500. All that solo Quick Revive gameplay wasn't even programmed in. It's big insta kill. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep the Gibbs. So I don't want to waste too much ammo on this anymore. Let's just waste all the ammo and then make it like I'm about to get rid of this thing. Either way, let's hope I don't die. Oh my gosh. It's so hard to tell where the like the range is for you to be killed. I genuinely don't know. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm so nervous. Yeah, the music this is giving me just some sort of heebie jeebies, bro. Let's get it out of here, bro. Uh yeah, honestly. We're going for the car 98k here. I mean, the earlier the better. Bye bye. C3000. It ain't even worth it at this point. Let's see if we can kill this one zombie. I believe this thing upgraded is called the Armageddon. Oh my god. Okay, well, I mean, it did one shot. I don't, I don't think double tap helped. I mean, look at this thing, though. This looks quality. I also love that the magazine. World of War's magazine display was so cool. Like, where they'd literally show the bullets on the bottom. They wouldn't give you a count like they do with the number, but they also show you the bullets. One of the very few Call of Duty games that did that, and it just looks so cool. I wish they would bring that back into a game. Into another COD. As, I think especially in Zombies, it's cool. Zombies, I feel like it doesn't necessarily matter about the clip account. It's more about the total number that is always the best. And that's why, like, LMGs are always the best in Zombies. Whereas, like... That is not the same in multiplayer for sure. Yeah, the Armageddon is trash. We're going to get rid of it. Uh, this is also bad because now it's the only thing I have. Ooh, I need that max. Okay, don't die here. Just whatever you do. Don't die when you have a max ammo, please. That's the worst way to die. Yeah, and double tap was such a play here. I'm not even going to lie. Big insta-kill. It's just really for the SMGs, and because we're grabbing every weapon, it's honestly just worth it. And yeah, goodbye Armageddon. We really disliked you. You were bad from the start. Listen, I know we have, might have some crazy rabbit fans that are Deadshot Dacry lovers and Car 98K lovers, which is just an abomination. But I'm sorry, boys. You're just you're wrong, bro. It just doesn't work. Bro. Gewehr here is our number fourth weapon. 
to pack much here. Let's see what this one turns into. I honestly forgot what this one is. Let's see. The G115 compressor. And it's not bad. I mean, it is... It's still the same type of gun. But, like, it's definitely not bad. I, it's, yeah, it's definitely not bad, for sure. I think it could honestly be a lot worse. It's a good. It's gonna be a good point gun here for sure. Yeah, like that penetration is quite nice. I mean, I would obviously not run this for a high round run, but you, you need something. Like the nicest thing about World at War is there's not many weapons, right? So for 22 weapons across four players, that's a pretty good selection to figure out like which weapons are the top meta weapons. Because you can only have a certain amount of Wonder Wafts and a certain amount of Ray Guns, and obviously... So I believe it's one Wonder Waff and four Ray Guns, I believe. Unless... No, I'm pretty sure that's correct. Yeah. Um, and so... Ooh, big Max Ammo here. That was actually a huge Max Ammo. I, th I thought we wouldn't have enough. Okay. Well, honestly, let's go for another Wall Weapon here. We have our last Zombie here. What is right here? This is the FG, this is exactly right? Hey, FG? Oh, I don't have enough. I literally need to headshot this guy or something. Or rebuild the barrier here for a bit and then headshot this guy. That is so funny, dude. <laughs> well, here we go. Our fifth weapon pack bunch is the FG42. And I gotta write these down. The 420 Impeller, bro. It's just... It's crazy how many of these we're getting, bro. Crazy how many we're getting. Yeah, now, I don't expect this one to be crazy. I mean, it's still pretty good. I wonder, though, is that double tap helping? Because usually this gun is kind of bad. And we're going to find that often with a lot of the weapons we grab off the wall. Honestly, I think the next one will be the double barrel to the left of us. But yeah, the double barrel, great for the dogs. And it is round 16 now, so I am starting to expect some dogs. We could be doing legitimately the World at War World Record Strat, which is boarding up in this room. It's such a... It's honestly kind of a difficult draft. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to grab that nuke. We've got an scope. We're chilling, dude. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to grab the double barrel for sure. This thing is almost out of ammo. This thing is just... One of the most unnotable weapons ever. I mean, listen. The pack one was just introduced in this map. Some weapons are just not going to be as quality as others. Let's go for the double barrel here. I want to see how this boy's pop. Dude, the double barrel is a G. Oh, I don't have enough. It's costing too much. I always forget that, like, you have to buy the weapon and that actually costs money. <laughs> what am I doing, man? Hey, dude, the double barrel's still good on round 16. Like, that actually goes to show that there's some class in these. Okay, I'm crossing out all the ones that I've done. The Gewehr, it is out of here. FG42, it is out of here. Double barrel, you are next, dude. Yeah, for real, Dempsey. Man's best friend, get that boy out of here. No thank you, bro. And also, lads, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the webcam quality is better. I've been having webcam problems since Black Ops Cold War, and it's just basically because I've used I've been using the wrong type of DSLR to record. So I've had problems with recording this video, and I have to basically go out and buy a whole new webcam. It was crazy. Double no, is literally a dog weapon. Look at this. This thing just slaps them. So if you guys have been noticing less like freezing or lagging or overheating or whatever, dude, I've been noticing it too. It's so much better now. So so glad so so glad i got a new webcam but here we go the sixth weapon is done now the double barrel what is it called pack once the 24 bore long range who even makes these like what what type of name is that i love the way this looks though like i said man there's no other pack bunch that looks so quality in terms of like an engraving and that was one of the coolest things like I wonder if the initial intention of the pack punch was to have a camel, right? Like, maybe that's what the pack punch camel did, is just like literally engrave your guns. You know, there was so much lore back in the day that I felt like people were so interested in. Now it's just so lost just because so many people don't even like what Treyarch does with like Vanguard zombies and stuff. And it's just such a divide in the community now for sure, which I mean is totally fair. Dude, this double barrel slaps. I'm honestly not gonna get rid of this. We got a nice horde up of zombies here. Round 18. We're playing Call of Duty Zombies, baby. Please. Round 18. Should I grab that new? There's a carpenter. Oh, uh, you know what? Maybe I will, man. 
Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do it. We need we need the finish. Oh, is that an inset? Never mind. Oh. Oh! Oh, I have to grab the dude. I have to grab the dude. I thought it was about to die. That's the thing. You get sucked in by one of those zombies and it's over, bro. Dude, I'm 90 points off from pack or something. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, let's go around the map and check what other wall weapons I've missed. The STG is over here. Honestly, dude, look at this ADS. Why is it so... It's like a sniper. What the heck? Why is it so... It's so close? That's crazy. Yeah, I do think it is time to get rid of the Thompson. I'm not gonna lie. I love the Thompson, but the ammo count is really starting to ruin me. Ooh, here we go. A double point snoop. Yeah, this is where the Thompson's gonna come in. And yeah, I start. I'm, I'm hearing the dogs. The dogs are here. Thank goodness we have double points insta kill right now. I'd be so dead. Honestly, yeah, I'm gonna go for the SDG. Before I get literally bullied. Let's throw nades here too. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they are making me go off on this game, bro. And seriously, so far, I think it's my best run of how far I've gotten on this challenge. I've been having so many problems with this challenge. And so I am threatened. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Big Maxi. That would have been nice. An easy 10k points. Oh. Oh. Oh, drop down, drop down. Oh, I bet y'all didn't know about that. Maybe some of y'all did. Oh, you know what? I'm TP. You can't see me. My time is now. Oh my gosh. This is truly World of War gameplay here. Yep, back to the pop. We're pack punching the SPG. That is our seventh weapon with a carpenter drop. So, okay, I was wondering if you can get more power ups. You can. That is cool. Yeah, let's get a carpenter just for my own sanity. And let's see, upgraded SDG to spots. It's not bad at World of War. This thing is honestly way better than its unpacked punch part. Like, dude, the SDG unpacked is honestly terrible. Pack punch though? Round 19? It's not bad. It's doing the job. It's doing what it needs to do. I mean, hey, that's fair. I'll accept it, dude. Uh, now, I'm going to wait, I think. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to wait this one on the catwalk. Let's do a catwalk round. Listen, it's round 20. If I need ammo for the spats, I'll go buy it down there, bro. It's going to be 4,500, but it's just something that we need, okay? It is literally just something that we need. STG is now done. I'm excited, bro. Yeah, so yeah, we have a lot of weapons to go. We have the 357 Magnum, the PPSH, the Browning, the MP40, the Trench Gun. There's a lot of weapons, so... We should, yeah, I'm gonna grab every power up here. We need to maximize our points. We have dogs here too. Oh, it's gonna go bad. Don't go bad. I'm dropping. Oh my goodness. And back up, and back up, and back up. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the, the, bo the double barrel is actually holding through. I can't believe I'm saying that, but the double barrel is literally the reason I'm alive right now. This thing is doing the job it was meant to do. Now, I can't say that I'm surprised because the double barrel is amazing. And it also says it's long range, too. I mean, it is kind of long range. And, dude, I miss this penetration. A lot of zombie weapons, especially in the cold war, they don't have this good of penetration. Whereas, like, the World of War, every weapon had crazy penetration. Okay. I'm gonna drop. Yeah, we're taking the portal. We're taking the portal. We are taking the portal, gamers. See you later. Uh, the next one I'm gonna do... Anything good? Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of... I think we're gonna get rid of the double barrel. It's just because I need to reload it too often. But, I think we're going to go for the MP40 or the Type 100. One of the two. MP40 is on Teleport A side. Listen, this side is a scary side to be on. They got zombies on zombies. Bro. They don't want me doing this challenge. I know they don't. Oh, no. Let's do the Trench Gun. Let's go to another shotgun. Ah, oh, dude. The OG Trench, man. This thing was legendary. I'm over this door because I am not going back that other way, bro. Look at them go. Jeez, get me on out of here, boy. Yeah, this thing, Pack Punch, is absolutely going to be insane. Easily one of the most iconic shotguns in all of Call of Duty Zombies. And a lot of people don't actually know that. Too. Let's see how good it is. 
It's usually a better dog weapon for what I remember. The gut shot. Boom. Oh my gosh. This thing didn't mess around. This thing did not mess around, man. The gut shot was legendary. And also, this path is beautiful, man. Well, I mean, I believe now it might start be time. It might start getting to be time to hit the box. Like, I can still get the MP40 and the Type 100 over there, which I am going to do. So, back to the catwalk we go. Hey, we got to keep it safe. Let's move out the trench gun for a bit. See how it's going to perform here. The range is honestly not bad. And I love, like, also the reload is so quick. And it's not just one bullet per pellet. It's like two, right? Or is it three? Like, dude, I can literally hold myself just using the gut shot here. I didn't even have to aim for headshots. Ooh, big dude, too. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, man, I love it. I just wish probably it had more ammo. I feel like this was Cold War. Definitely would be getting some more ammo. Let's grab that double. Double points with the SCG, bro. This is the only way. We got a nuke over there, too. Oh, my goodness, the points. See, I do like double tap 1.0 in terms of, like... If you're doing a path punch uh, challenge like this, I'm really not going to grab that new flop. Honestly, the, the instant skill is better. The instant skill is better. Let's see if I can get a little bit of that double points in. Hey, there we go. And I did it end round. Let's go. Nice. I don't even know where the last zombies are. Oh, this boy is like a mile away. Okay. Doesn't even matter. Let's go get that MP40. Get that boy upgraded. I wonder if it's called the Afterburner, because listen, the MP40 that I always think in my mind upgraded is the Keynoter Toten Afterburner that looks all like red and black. It looks sick, man. It's like one of the... I really also do like the OG B01 Pop Camo. Like, it didn't look as like grayed out as the BL3 Giant Camo. The BL3 Giant Camo, without a doubt, is one of my least favorites. Oh, the M1 Carbine is also on the wall. I forgot. Oh... Maybe I can just get through the M1 Carbine very quickly as well. I might not just shoot it on zombies just because, like, I'm a little bit nervous. But here we go. Our ninth weapon here is the MP40. Love that. It is the Afterburner. It's honestly not as good as I thought. Wow. It's actually not that bad. Okay. Let's, let's go at least one round with it. I think I'll survive this with the gutcha. Oh, yeah. With the dogs. Let's do it. And then I'll get the M1 Carbine. Master, I'm kicking his ass. Let's see how the MP40 does against the dogs. I'm yeah, Listen, I got the trench gun. This thing is going to delete the dogs. So if I'm struggling, I'll be all right. Okay. Peek, bro, peek. The long range is pretty good, dude. It's not bad. I love the way that those iron sights look with the path camera, too. Like, when you see that slight engraving. I just love the way the shine looks. Like, the... The World of War Pack Punch camo really did look like Chrome. Like, it really did make the Pack Punch feel like it was like an alien machine. I feel like some maps don't really give the Pack Punch that proper, like, due diligence. Oh my goodness. I mean, okay. Not bad. I'm getting rid of the trench gun. Let's just get the M1A1 carbine out of the way, man. This thing is so mid at so many points in history, bro. Uh... I don't remember ever using this M1A1 carbine. I'm so glad it never came back. Here we go. Our 10th weapon is the unfortunate M1A1. What type of name even is that? It does go fully auto though. So, hey, maybe I'm roasting it for no reason here. Let's go to Catwalk, see how it does. The Wittershins RC1? Like, boy, who? Who did you say you were, buddy? I don't even know what that means, dude. The Wittershins. Hello, my name's Mr. Wittishins RC1. It sounds like a Treyarch employee. Like, listen, a lot of these pop names were also named uh, from, like, World of War to BO2. A lot of pop names were just, like, developer inside jokes or names or something, you know? It's a lot of it was to do with Dad's Day. Because I remember, like, going to Treyarch and during BO3 and seeing them make all the BO3 weapons. It was a really cool experience. To be oh my gosh. Yep, the MP40 is definitely starting to lock. Let's get out of here. Thank goodness for the portals, bro. They be helping us out here tremendously. 
A carpenter is not gonna cut it, gamers. I'm sorry, but... Yeah, dude. Okay, listen. That 1A1 carbide is actually better than I thought upgraded. It does take a whole clip to kill one, though. So maybe it's not that good. I'm gonna say it. It's time to hit the box. It's time to hit the box, y'all. I am not getting the weapons that I need right now. And that is the issue. Oh, monkeys are huge. Monkeys are huge. Oh, yes, sir. Monkeys are huge. Throw out the monkeys. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Wow. The greatest thing about monkeys is, listen, it's not a weapon, but it'll help you out with everything, bro. Dude, just look at the destruction I have caused. Wow. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to hit the box again. Let's see if I can get another weapon that I can get out of the way to pop. We've got a couple. Oh. That was spawning? No way. Yeah. Yeah. Just go for it. Bar? Oh, trench gun. I already have it. I've already done it. No, dude. This is what I mean. The box is going to determine so much of this run. Oh, man. I can't believe this. Yeah. I have to kill a lot of the zombies here with the portal. Or the pack punch. Oh, or the, yeah. the portal. I was right. Nuke. Oh. Not what I need. Not what I need. Okay, there's not many zombies. I should be alright. Yeah, I should be good here. Let's just take them out. Yeah, we'll give them some headshot yeah, treatment. And you are there we go. Easy. Okay, hit another weapon. Let's see what we got. Uh, ooh, okay, this is the M1 Garand, is it not? Wait, the M1 Garand, oh yeah, I've not done this, and this is with the launcher. The launcher was the strangest addition, like, World at War, what, <laughs> look at the radical, <laughs> what type of weapon was this, bro? I mean, I don't remember also those nade launchers being that good, but our 11th weapon here is the M1 Garand off of the board, dude. What is it even called? The Imploder. And it comes with 40 explosives rather rather than 20. It still is a one-shot. And yeah, looking at it in the iron sights, what does that remind you of? It's literally the M14, bro. So listen, we are halfway now done all of these weapons. I am just calculating which weapons we still need here. We need the 357 Magnum. The PPSH, and yeah, we need a lot of the better weapons now, and this is good because, listen, we can't even cat catwalk camp right now, I don't think, dude. No, I am switching to this importer for no reason, bro. Oh my gosh, this thing is terrible. Yeah, I'm throwing a monkey. Yeah, you really are an awesome. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you really can never trust anything to really work. I'm gonna use this importer. Oh, you can spam three of them at once? I had no idea, and I'm probably so close to dying. Give me this new, please. Oh my gosh. Woo! Yeah, this thing is terrible on round 24. Oh, dude. Wow, this thing is trash. Okay, no special grades remaining. Oh my gosh. That new disappeared. Oh, get me through. Get me through. Oh! 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 It's actually... Okay, the imploder part is the better part. And then, like, you just take it off to the dog. Not bad. Yeah, the... Uh, just... This part is not that good. Oh, it's so bad. Yeah, I really need a quality weapon from the box. Okay, so this is where the box either makes or breaks my game. I'm so nervous, man. 40 minutes into this run. Can we can we keep it going, bro? Can we stay alive? Halfway there. What is that? A Panzer Shrek. You know what? I'm dead. Oh no! Dude. Well, you know what? I'm gonna count that as our first game. Let me know if I should reattempt it and get all the way, lads. Thank you guys so much for coming out to today's video. We got 11. Let me know if I can do 22. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out, and we will see y'all. Well, World of War Reese doesn't F me like that in the next one.